truth is a natural happening. If you invent it, that's called a lie <laughs> Truth is not something that you invent, truth is something that you realize. Lie is something that you invent. So you don't have to say truthfully, naturally. What is natural is truth. So, should one follow the precepts of the past or should one come to something new? There should not be a compulsion about breaking the rules of the past, nor there should be a compulsion that you must only do it the way of the past. It is important that every generation looks at what is really needed, what is not needed. If you do not disca discard the garbage that you je develop in your house, after some time, your whole house will be a garbage bin, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Every day you must throw out the garbage, then only the house is clean. Similarly in our lives, many things that don't work, we must throw them out on a daily basis. If we don't do that, as a culture, if you don't do it for hundreds of years, then you become stagnant. When you become stagnant, nothing works. Right now, if we are constantly looking for better ways of doing every aspect of our life, I'm saying from the simplest, if you just start looking, what is the best way to sit? Invariably you will come to me, you will want to learn yoga. If you… if you start looking, what is the best way to breathe? I'm saying these are all vital things. What is the best way to eat? What is the best way to manage my body? If you just start thinking like this, you will start doing yoga. That is, you will start approaching your physical and mental well-being in a scientific manner. Similarly, what is the best way to interact between two neighbors? If you look at it truthfully, then you will arrive at a science what works best between neighbors, rather than trying to weave a philosophy around it. So, the philosophies of the past also might have been sense at one time, which turned into a, a kind of a precept over a period of time, then it turned into a law, then it turned into a belief system, then it becomes a religion over a period of time. Instead of that, we have to come to our senses about everything. But will we arrive at an ultimate answer for everything? Maybe not, because changing realities are there. So one way of looking at life is, first and fundamental thing is, there is substantial scientific and medical evidence to show you that your body and your brain will function at its best only when you're joyful. So first thing is this, that you have a body and brain which works well. <laughs> you have a functioning brain. If this has to happen, you must be in a pleasant state of experience. So first thing is to become joyful by your own nature. If you manage this, you have a functioning brain. Have you noticed this? When you're happy, you find solutions. When you're unhappy, you create problems. Have you not noticed this in every situation in your life? So, this is important. The first and basic thing, this is not done. People think pursuit of happiness is to be achieved. You must be successful towards the end of your life. No, this is the very first thing that you are joyful by your own nature. Now you have a functioning intelligence, which is not encumbered by any compulsions. You are in pursuit of happiness means you are encumbered by all kinds of compulsions. I am joyful means you are not encumbered by anything. Now you can look at things just the way they are. Only if you see things just the way they are, not from a prejudiced mind, simply the way they are, then you will also come up with solutions every day, better and better solutions. If you cannot even see what is there because you have prejudiced opinions about everything, then how a solution will come when you don't even figure the problem, how will you come up with a solution? 